But Trey, I guess uh, first things first, um, just your reaction to hearing Mike's not going to be back this year. And, um, how do you guys as a team kind of take that? Uh, yeah, it was surprising. Uh, I came to work and uh, we was talking in the receiver room and uh, CJ broke it to us. Uh, and it's, it's really disappointing, you know, because as a player, as a competitor, I know Mike wanted to, you know, be here and be a part of this season, you know, physically, but I know he'll be with us mentally. Um, I believe we all are hurt by it because we, we wanted to see him play. You know, he, he's a big part of this offense, but, you know, uh, in this league, you know, the next man always got to be prepared and ready to play. Have you Trey, seen him today, talked to him today? No, I haven't. Trey, does it, I guess, change your approach mindset at all, or do you just still approach things the same way? Yeah, I definitely uh, approach things the same way. It didn't change my mindset at all, because uh, as a player, you just got to know, you know, you got to do what, what you can do, you know, to, to better the team. And uh, you always got to be prepared, you know, for the next move because you, you, like, literally in this game, like, within three seconds or one second, it, the whole the whole game can change, like, the whole concept can change. So you, like, like I said, you literally always got to be prepared for things. What is the mindset of the receiver group in general, though, in, in sort of feeling the need to have more production from the position of the passing game in general? Uh, we know... Um, in this offense and uh, uh, behind Sean that we always got to be prepared for anything, you know, being able to block, being able to, you know, you know run routes and catch the ball. We got to go the extra mile because, you know, the, this offense depend on us. And it's always a big thing, you know, coming from CJ. Like, we always literally have to be prepared because if we come into the game with, uh, say we come into the game, four receivers and majority three going to be playing, that fourth receiver know he has to, has to know every single position. He know he has to. So no doubt in my mind that, you know, we we going to be prepared, you know, throughout the whole season. And because we know at any chance, you know, someone's going to be up. Trey, what's it like getting adjusted to, a, to another quarterback this week? What did James say about? Uh, it, it's, in my opinion, um, like I said, you always have to be prepared. So, you know, coming into a training camp, you know, we didn't only work out with, we blew not only catch from Jameis. We didn't only catch from Taysom. We didn't only catch from Dan. We, we caught from all four quarterbacks, Trevor himself. So uh, you just got to be prepared. You know, like I said, you never know what's going to happen. So, uh, you know, I believe training camp and uh, preseason prepared us, you know, for whatever quarterback may play, we're going to be prepared. Well, you guys want to have Mike out there, obviously, but you haven't had him this season. You didn't have some spots last season. Does that make it? Okay. easier to have already done this without him? I wouldn't say it make it, make it easier because, like, like I said, we want him out there. It's just that, you know, we was hoping to get him out there, you know, personally, in my opinion. But, like you said, he wasn't already out there. But, like, we just got to stay prepared. But we definitely wanted him to be back out there. You know, we, we definitely miss him. What, what are some of the things that Trevor does well that stands out about him just playing with him? Oh man, you could definitely tell he experienced. Uh, honestly, he came in the game and, and shot me. He looked very comfortable in the pocket. You know, he stood in the pocket. You know, he took some hits and still delivered the ball. You know, uh, that, that just amazed me. Like he definitely, it looked like he was ready to play. Like no, no hiccups or gimmies. Like he, he was definitely ready to play. Do you, uh, do you work extra this week after practice with whomever will be the quarterback? Maybe film study, or is it just kind of normal practice, or? Do you put in extra work with that guy? No, it's definitely a normal practice. Uh, we always uh, work out with the quarterbacks after practice. We always watch the film together, so it's nothing new. We always like do everything the same. Like, uh, like I said, we catch routes after practice with every quarterback. If they want to work something with us, even if they wasn't, you know, going to be up, if they want to work something with us, you know, we we don't turn them down. Quick one. Uh, I know we talked to you about this this summer before you had the, the setback in training camp, but. How eager are you for this sort of opportunity to, to, to play a really key role for this team now that you're back healthy? <laughs> Man, honestly, uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time, and uh, I learned that I can't get ahead of myself for nothing, man. Uh, I obviously, I had big plans coming into the season. I had a setback, so I learned, you know, to you know, just be mentally strong and just be focused and take it literally one day at a time, trying to finish one practice healthy, literally. That's what I learned. You talk to anybody about that, Mike? Like, you reach out to, to try to 
didn't help with that mindset? Um, I say uh, in Dallas, me and Mike had a couple conversations. Uh, it, it's man, it's it's tough. It's really tough because you know, as a player, as a competitor, you know, you want to play, and you now nah, you sitting in the training room all day. Like, uh, it, it it's it's really something tough to go through. So that's why when people hurt, I don't judge them in any kind of way because. I literally been there before, and it's something you want to get out, but you you literally can't. You, you got to stick it out until you're healthy. Now that you are back, you know how do you feel that the last two games went for you? Uh, the first game, uh, I didn't do too well. You can kind of tell, like I ain't been there in a while. Like uh, when James threw it to me on the first play, like I, I stopped running. Like I thought he already threw the ball, and uh, he got on me. Um, CJ got on me. Um, I was trying to really get in my groove, and uh, last game I did much more better. Still made a couple mistakes. I'm just trying to improve uh, each and every week. What, what happened on that? that you got, we saw you and Jameis kind of exchanging words on the sideline. What, what, what happened to lead that? <laughs> so, man, the media is blowing it up. Like, literally, the exchange of words was uh, I came off the field, and uh, Sean asked me what happened. So I said, Jameis called the wrong play. He said, what? I said, Jameis called the wrong play. So he asked Jameis. What did you call? Jameis said, I called so-and-so. He, he just repeated the play. And he was like, what do you say? He said, it's play. And I said, that's wrong. Then Jameis yelled at me, but he yelled the play. He said, no. I said, da-da-da-da. And I walked away, and I, I yelled. He said it. Then I said, no, that's wrong. But, <laughs> you know, I apologize to Jameis because he said the wrong play, but it was actually Callaway that messed up the play. <laughs> I ran, I ran the right play. Callaway ran the wrong play, and that's just all it was. He was just like yelling the play, and I was yelling like, "No, that was the play." That, that's all it was, literally. Uh, we got to apologize you that because I think you caught some heat that you shouldn't have caught. For that. Yeah. Man, it is what it is. Being a veteran receiver of the, uh, of the group, you know, other than Kenny Stills, like I just said, I, I took the blame and uh, I apologize to Jameis. Like, yeah, you did call the right play. And Callaway just got off free. I think James is a really expressive person, so. Yeah, <laughs> man, he, he definitely is. The cameras, of course, zoomed in on y'all. Like, we're right at that right time, so. I feel bad that they caught us like that, but it, like they said, they, they they blew it up much more than what it is. You probably thought we was like at each other next or something like that, but no, nah, we was just talking about the play literally. You guys are really close, right? I mean, you spent time yeah. in the house like, yeah, for yeah. a week and we spent the whole off season together. So um, yeah, just knowing that the relationship that you had with have with Jameis, you only got like a game and a half with him. How disappointing is that for you? Uh, like I said, it, like it's, it's very disappointing, but um, we did work a lot in the off season but uh you know god have a plan for everybody um i got it it's, well, just wasn't you know i uh, yeah meant to be so but everybody got to be prepared for you know the next thing trey as an offense at the end of the game when you're on the sideline you're watching the defense close it out what's going through the mind when you're watching them close out the game oh man we we was on the sideline so happy but you know we learned in this game you know we can't celebrate too early, but when uh, PJ got the interception for a touchdown, we knew it was over. Like everybody knew it was over. We just was ecstatic. Just uh, for one more. Okay, yeah, let's wrap up quick. Um, just as an offensive player and in general, I mean, when a team loses a starting quarterback and the most productive receiver historically, that's is that as much for an offense to absorb as everybody would think it is? As everybody <laughs> would think it is, yes. Like, I'm pretty sure when uh, Jameis went down in the game, a lot of people thought it was over. Like, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought it was over. But, you know, Trevor was uh, very prepared. And, like, you, you can't count somebody out. You know, that's somebody who came in. He did his job, did his job very well. And, like, losing Mike, the next man got to be up. So, like, like I said, I have been saying, you literally got to be prepared for the next man up. And the next thing, you can't count anybody out until the clock is 0-0 for a quarter. Thanks, Craig.